Hi and welcome to Elite Mind Academy. I'm Paweł Potosiński, CTO of Elite Mind, and today I'm going to start a new series called Modern Data Warehouse in Azure. Building a data warehouse is usually a, a huge investment for the, for the organization. It requires careful planning, good understanding of data, unified definitions of entities and KPIs, and of course, a solid platform, a storage for large volume of data, a tools for development of data transfer and transformation processes, and the compute power for running queries against this data. In this episode, I will start with discussing a reference architecture for modern data warehouse in the cloud provided by Microsoft. I will build a glossary of terms and give you a high-level overview of all elements in the architecture. So with that, let's start. I will start the series with the short introduction of what actually modern data warehouse is, as well as I will provide some glossary. So first of all, let's let's make sure that we understand why we actually would invest our time and money in building data warehouse and specifically a modern data warehouse in the cloud. So as we all know, data, data is crucial for the organizations around the world. Actually, it's data that makes business possible. You want to track your KPIs, you want to analyze your business, get some insights from data that you own and that you can access to make sure that your business is optimized and you can build your competitive advantages on top of data. So uh, it's, it's a myth that data is crucial just for the enterprises and large businesses. It's actually very important for the businesses of all sizes, from small companies to, to, to fortunes, Fortune 100 companies, data is meaningful and it's always important. At the same time, as you want to serve your data and insights to the, to the mass, massive number of users, you need the data to be secure as we enter the data, the time of cybercrime today. So uh, basically the, the biggest concern around data warehousing is the cost, the economic, because uh, normally when you build your data warehouse in on-prem world, you need to you need to have a solid budget for hardware as well as software solutions with the cloud you're more elastic you can build your solutions starting from small and then grow over time as your business and, uh, and data volume and number of users grow so uh, you can lower your infrastructure costs as well as you can lower your maintenance costs by starting with Azure or other cloud solution providers, software as a service, platform as a service solutions. And uh, you can definitely, uh, you can definitely uh, re redefine your infrastructure uh, as, as time comes and, uh, and your business evolves. So that's, that's actually uh, number one reason for building um, analytics and data warehousing solutions in the cloud because you have this elasticity and flexibility to easily start and run different services that support this kind of solutions. So why would we actually start building modern data warehouse with Azure and Microsoft? Well, number one reason is because Microsoft is, con is considered as the leader. Uh, using Gartner Magic Quadrant for data management solutions for analytics, which really means data warehousing, uh, you can see that um, Microsoft is clear leader uh, among different large companies providing sophisticated data warehousing solutions like Oracle, Teradata, and Amazon Web Services. So uh, basically Microsoft is considered as one of the top vendors, um, especially providing cloud data warehousing solutions. And what are, what are the strengths of Microsoft in terms of data warehousing in the cloud? First of all, it's the capabilities and vision. Microsoft has clear vision around how, how companies can, can consume and uh, build their data-driven data culture in the cloud. So they offer wide choice, uh, wide choice of services. To build, to build some sophisticated solutions on top of your data. Uh, the, second, the second reason is that you can 
uh, that you can see Microsoft as the early adopter of the cloud uh, cloud solutions. So they they started their investments in the cloud uh, quite quite early, comparing to other uh, data data management systems provider. And um, actually, it's quite easy to uh, move your skills from the on-premises solutions to the cloud with Microsoft because. Uh, Microsoft uh, built their services on top of well-known SQL Server platform. So you can actually start using your SQL skills in the cloud very easily. And the third reason is the customer loyalty. So Gartner observed that customers value Microsoft's roadmap. It's normal that Microsoft uh, provides a roadmap for the, for the next at least next semester, but uh, you, may, you may also find some details on how Microsoft will proceed over the next year. So it's pretty much important when you plan your, uh, your investments uh, in, in heavy, heavy cloud infrastructure. And let's be honest, cloud data services are not the cheapest one. So it's, it's typically a, a, a matter of co consideration whether you want to start this project or not. However, keep in mind that with the cloud solutions, you can, you can use fail fast approach, which means that if your POC of, the, of modern data warehouse fails, you, you will not, you will not uh, remain with any existing hardware or software uh, investment. You will, just, uh, you will just remove those, uh, those resources and you will not pay any, any dollar for that. So with that, let's step into the modern data warehouse in Azure reference architecture. Uh, it's built on top of several, several blocks. So let's start from the left side. Normally you will see, you will see that every, every company has different, different systems that support operational work. So you can see ERP systems, CRM systems, as well as number of databases and files that support, uh, support everyday work. So, you would you would love to integrate this this data into a single version of facts as we call it or a single version of truth as you would like to see it um, so that's the that's the number one purpose of uh, data warehouse to integrate the data in a, into a single database that will serve a normalized normalized version of entities business entities to the business intelligence tools how do we proceed with that in Azure? So first of all, uh, in the cloud, the approach is to first bring the data into the cloud. And to bring the data into the cloud, we, we normally use the storage. So it's the storage actually that is uh, number one place to go with your data in the cloud. And it's not just a common pattern for Microsoft, but also for other cloud vendors. So first, you normally extract your data from your systems and load the data as fast as you can uh, to, the, to, the, to the data storage in Azure. And Microsoft proposed Azure Data Lake Storage as the number one storage for analytics because it's optimized for doing analytics, actually. So. Uh, Typically, uh, you would like to have in place the tool for data transfer and transformation. So in Microsoft Azure, uh, actually it's the uh, combination of two services. It's Azure Data Factory for orchestration and uh, simple data ingestion and the Azure Databricks, so uh, built on top of open source solution, open source platform, uh, to provide some more sophisticated data transformation using uh, using uh, Apache Spark uh, engine. So those two services combined together can provide you a wide range of data transformations, as well as you can uh, easily orchestrate your uh, data pipelines. Uh, now, when we when we talk about data warehouse, you need you need a solid a solid engine for. Uh, not just storing, but also querying your, your data. It has to be efficient, it has to provide high performance, and ideally it should scale on demand or uh, it should scale as, you, as your business grows and uh, you, you need some higher performance on top of terabytes or petabytes of data. 
and uh, Microsoft offers Azure Synapse Analytics for that. Uh, so previous name of this service was um, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, as you, as you may know it. And right now, uh, SQL Data Warehouse is just a part of Synapse Analytics. And the roadmap for this product is quite exciting, and we will discuss it uh, later on in this series. So uh, when, you, when we talk about Data Warehouse, Synapse Analytics is, uh, is your consideration here. And of, on top of data warehouse, typically we would love to see some uh, business data model uh, for serving this uh, data coming from the data warehouse to the business users via business intelligence tools. And in Microsoft uh, platform, you will see Azure Analysis Services as the tool for building uh, this kind of business data models. But also you can use utilize the power of Power BI which, uh, which is uh, a BI tool, but also it provides uh, data modeling capabilities. And with Power BI Premium, you're actually uh, more and more uh, scalable in terms of how big your data models can be. If you want to find out uh, more details on this reference architecture, I encourage you to click the link. It's the, uh, it's the reference architecture that is published and available uh in the in, in on the web so you can easily find the details and see how microsoft proposes to into implement data flow and and other other processes in this architecture so uh let's summarize this architecture we start with data sources which can be different operational systems from your infrastructure uh doesn't really matter it's if it's uh, on premises or cloud you will you will start your ELT process, which means extract, load, and transform, and load this data, maybe using some sophisticated transformation and advanced analytics on the way to the data lake or landing zone or staging storage, which is a chip storage based on the HDFS um, capabilities. Uh, you will store your um, reference uh, corporate data in a data warehouse which can be built on top of Azure Synapse Analytics. You can build a data model and uh, serve the data to the business intelligence users and reporting using combination of Azure Analysis Services and Power BI or just Power BI if you, uh, if you want to rely on just this single platform. Now, let's, uh, let's summarize the glossary. We, we know that we, we have to deal with different data sources. So normally you will see operational systems, files, databases, and it doesn't really matter if you want to bring the data from the on-prem or you're already in the cloud. You can deal with both, both, the, both of those data sources. You will see ELT uh, approach when dealing with, uh, with uh, data, modern data warehouse in the cloud. So uh, the assumption is that we want to load the data into the cloud uh, and normally this will be probably uh, at the first stage of the data lake. We, we want to load it as quickly as we can and then, to, then we want to perform, perform our transformation, uh, transformations um, in order to load the data into the data warehouse. Data lake can be understood as the well-organized well storage. It will, you will see that it will contain different zones uh, as we call the the structure of the data lake we will discuss it in one of the one of the uh, episodes and uh, actually it's uh, it should be designed to first collect the data coming from uh, different data sources and then then uh, make it accessible both to uh, so to advanced analytics and uh, to the elt processes loading the data uh, into the data warehouse the data warehouse uh, should be a well-defined and organized uh, relational database, uh, but also it can uh, it can uh, use utilize the data residing in, within the data lake. So you can connect actually data warehouse to the data lake and combine the, the relational data with some unstructured or, or semi-structured data um, uh, that uh, is stored in data lake. But normally data warehouse should be uh, definitely a set of well well defined uh, uniform data entities uh, that is organized uh, in kind of data marts as we call it you can use different methodologies here 
the, the most famous methodologies uh, are Inmon, Kimball, and DataVault. But you can also use some hybrid mix of um, those techniques in order to build uh, to build the data warehouse, uh, perhaps using some uh, some agile approach. Now, um, on top of data warehouse, we will build uh, business models to serve the information and insights to business intelligence tools. Uh, you will see uh, Power BI as a preferred uh, power, pre preferred business intelligence tool in Microsoft platform, but not, but you can of course use different uh, other different tools from different vendors. Uh, we will focus on Power BI as we want to stay within the, the Microsoft data platform, and Power BI of course is one number one leader in the business intelligence uh, market, and. Uh, on, uh, and the last one, but uh, not least, the advanced analytics can be built on top of both data lake and data warehouse. So you will see uh, you will see that uh, you can utilize different uh, different analytical tools like Azure Databricks on top of your data to perform some advanced uh, data advanced data preparations, machine learning, model training, and serving. And uh, this is the entry, entry point for bringing AI to your, uh, to your data to, uh, predict, uh, to predict something or to build some, uh, some analytical models. And it's a step ahead what you, uh, what you, can, what you can see using uh, just business insights from business intelligence tools. Let's summarize this episode. A modern data warehouse in the cloud is not just a data warehouse as we know it from the on-premises world. It's a platform for centralized storing of any data in the organization and building a uniform schema for common data entities for analytics at the same time. It provides tools for effective data transfers and transformations, ad hoc querying of huge volume of data, as well as the ability to run advanced analytics on top of all the data you gather within the platform or beyond. In the next episode, we will move to discussing how you can design and implement a storage for modern data warehouse in Azure. We will talk about data lake and data warehouse parts of the architecture shown today. So stay tuned and subscribe the Edit Mind Academy channel. See you.